Hello friends, I am Yul Humphreys and speaking again to you from the Word of God. I have a scripture that I'd like to share with you and at this time it's found in the book of Hebrews, the 13th chapter, and here's what it says. It says, Be content with whatsoever you have, for he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And so we know that he's talking about Jesus Christ, for Jesus said when he left, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And we have the Holy Spirit within us as Christians that tell us the same thing. He never leaves us nor forsakes us. God stays with us. And so today I'm speaking to you that are Christians with the hope that this will encourage your heart and strengthen your life as Christian. And that it will encourage you that are not Christians to believe in the Lord Jesus and to let Him take control of your life and to live for Him and you'll find a way and God will bless you. Now then, the Word says, be content with what you have because He has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And so what the author of Hebrews is saying is, be content with what you've got, Christian, because you've got the best. Whatever you have down here, or whatever you don't have down here, you've got the best in the world because you've got Christ. And having Him, you have the riches of God forever. And one day you're going to enjoy those riches forever. You're going to have a part in that inheritance. You have an inheritance in heaven. And the Bible says that if that the, that the problems and the sufferings of this present time are not even worthy to be compared to the glory which shall be revealed in us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And we need to see that and understand that. If you have Jesus, then you have the very best. And I'm grateful for that. Be content with what you have. You know, that's something that we often, often, often fail to do. <clears throat> this is something I have a problem with. From time to time, I had to ask God, forgive me, for wanting something else, and wanting something else that money can buy. The Bible says, seek those things that money cannot buy, that come only from God, that are given by the Lord. You can't buy love and joy and peace. You can't buy it. You can't buy patience and meekness and faith. You can't buy it. You can't buy the Holy Spirit that lives in you as a Christian. You can't buy salvation, God's gift to the world, who believe in Christ and come to God through faith in Him. And so we need to see that we have the greatest thing. We have Christ, you have all of this. You have Christ and you have God's wisdom and God's redemption and God's righteousness. And so. Praise the Lord. I need to see often say, Lord, forgive me for wanting more of what's got down here when I need to be realizing that I have the greatest thing already. I have Christ. And I have all oh, the riches of God in His glory. They will be mine in that day when I go to meet Him or when He comes again. And so this is something we need to see. Be content with what you have because you have the best. You have the best. You see, you have the greatest thing, and that's the Lord God. And the God of heaven is more than enough. Not only is He enough for us, Christian, He's more than enough. He's more than enough. He did not only feed 5,000 people with five pieces of bread, but he had 12 baskets full of bread and fish left over. Left over. More than enough. And he has more than enough for you and me. And that's why El Shaddai means the great God who has more than enough. And we pray who is more than enough. He is more than enough. And so we thank God that we have him we have so very much. And we need to see this and be grateful for it. Be grateful for it. If you have more than enough, why do you want even more? If I have more than I need and I have more than enough for me, why should I keep wanting more? Praise God. I've already got more than enough. And so let this be a word of encouragement to you. 
Oh, learn to be content with what you have as best you can. Be content with who you are. Be content with where you are. Be content with what you are. Be content with the blessings of God upon your life. And God will bless you. You have Jesus, you have the best. You have the best. And you see, we have things that the world cannot see. We own things that the world cannot buy. And we possess things that the world are bankrupt on. And that is the power of God and the blessings of the Almighty on our lives every day. Every day. We have so much from Him. So much greater than anything the world can offer. I like the song that Beverly Shea usually sings. <clears throat> I'd rather have Jesus than silver or gold. I'd rather have Him than have riches untold. I'd rather have Jesus and worldwide fame. I'd rather have Him and know His name. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. I'd rather have Jesus. <clears throat> I like the story told of a, of a tourist that was visiting in the Holy Land. And as he's walking along, he had his, his portfolio, on his, carrying his port, leather portfolio with his business and cards and letters. And, and he was walking down the street there in the Holy Land and one of the cities there near Jerusalem. And, and uh, just looking around, you know, and he passed this little house and he happened to look in and the door was open and he saw an elderly man sitting at a little table in his, in his house. And he just stopped and looked in and the man looked up and said, emotion said, come on in. And so he stepped inside and he said, well, how are you? And, 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 the, uh, and the old man said, I'm fine. I hope you're all right. Oh, he said, I am. I, I am uh, traveling through and I just saw you here. And, and he, he looked around and there was a little chair over here, a little table over here, and there was a chair over here, a little room back there for his kitchen. And he said, you live here? He said, yep, this is my home. And he looked around, he says, you mean this is all you have? And the old man said, yes, it's all I have. Well, he said, uh, I don't mean to be impertinent, but, but you don't have much, do you? And the old man looked at the, at the tourist and he said, uh, what have you got there in your portfolio? Oh, he said, I've just got some letters and some papers and some paraphernalia I need in my work. That's all, just just a portfolio full. But the old man smiled and said, you don't have much, do you? Oh, he said, the, the tourist said, but oh, uh, I, I'm just a tourist. I'm just traveling through. This is not my home. And the old man smiled and said, that's true with me, my brother. That's true with me. Isn't that good? We're just tourists down here, traveling through. This is not our home, Christian. We've got a home up yonder with furniture that cannot be made with hands, with glories which only God can give, with blessings that only angels can rejoice in with us. Oh, we're only traveling through. This is not our home. We're on our way home where they got so much gold up there, they paved streets with it. Praise God. Praise God. And blessed be the name of the Lord. My dear friends, do not live for the world. It's soon over and it's gone. And we won't have much. We will have nothing left. But oh, live for God. Build your life on Christ. And you're laying up riches in heaven which will last and you can enjoy forever. Praise the Lord. Be content with the things that you have. For He has said, You've got me. And I will never leave you, nor forsake you. If you do not believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord, I beseech you to put your trust in Him and say, Dear Lord, please forgive me. 
I believe in Jesus. Dear God, cleanse me from every sin. I believe Jesus rose again. And I'm asking you to come in my heart and help me live for you all the days of my life. And the Lord God will write your name in heaven. And you'll be among those who will enjoy his riches, which will become your riches forever. Praise God, and blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen.